Welcome to the CAP RMF training. If you have not subscribed to my channel, be sure to subscribe as we proceed with today's topic. We'll continue with the NIST Risk Management Framework Control Family Series. And today, we'll be looking at incident response. Now, the objectives or the purpose of the incident response is to ensure that organizations establish an operational incident handling capability for organizational information systems that includes adequate preparation, detection, analysis, containment, recovery, and user response activities, and to track, document, and report incidents to appropriate organizational officials and authorities. Now, we're looking at the incident response steps. The first step is the preparation step. At the preparation step, we ensure that preparation strategy is required to develop capability to undo security incidents when they occur. The next step is detection and analysis. At the detection and analysis, this is the step where incident occurrences are identified, the incidents are classified, and the incidents are analyzed to determine the best mitigation strategy. At this step, appropriate organizational or appropriate parties are also notified. At the, at the detection phase, you know, it must be determined whether the incident is an occurrence or it is an incident. Now, the next step is containment eradication and recovery. At the containment eradication and recovery step, at this step, the response team must exercise the determined methodology you know, to handle the incident and restore the functionality to all systems and processes affected. Now, the next step is the post-incident activity. At a post-incident activity, a report must be, must be created or must be documented that shows the steps taken and the lessons learned must be documented for future reference. We'll be looking at some of the controls that falls under the incident response control family. I'll be looking at IR2, which is the incident response training. Now, IR2 focuses on ensuring that incident response training is provided, how often is incident response training provided, and if a refresher training has been provided. Now, what are some of the evidence that we can request for to satisfy the implementation of IR2 control? We can request for incident response training material, incident response training attendee records. Now, the next control we're we'll looking at is IR3. IR3 talks about incident response testing. It focuses on ensuring how often is incident response plan tested? How is the incident response plan tested? Are the results of the incident response plan documented? And how is the effectiveness of the incident response plan determined in order to improve it? Now, what are some of the evidence that we can request for to satisfy the implementation of IR3 control? We can request for the incident response test plan and result from the most recent test. Now, the next control we're looking at is IR4. IR4 is incident handling. IR4 focuses on ensuring or talks about how incidents are handled in your organization. Does the incident handling capability include preparation, detection and analysis, containment, eradication and recovery? It focuses on is the organization incident response activity and contingency plan coordinated together or coordinated with each other. It focuses on the lessons learned and the results recorded so that they can be implemented into the incident response plan. It also focuses on you showing where you implement the resulting changes into your incident response procedure. Now, what are some of the evidence that we can request for to satisfy the implementation of IR4? We can request for recent incidents and the tools, techniques, and processes and procedures you know, that are used to manage and resolve the incident. 
We can also request for procedures addressing the incident handling. Please note that some of these controls or these controls that I've mentioned today, the evidence or the artifact that you can request for are subject to increase or changes depending on your work environment. I hope this video is helpful. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and like this video. Thank you for watching.